right. So least squares regression line. Again, this is something we have done on a certain level at algebra two. We dealt with that line of best fit. Learn how to use calculator to get it. We're gonna go a little bit deeper into what that is right now. So the general form is y hat equals a plus bx. Okay, it's a little bit different than y equals mx plus b, but it's the same concept. This right here is our slope, and this right here is our y-intercept. So just kind of very similar to mx plus b, it's just we put the b first. Okay? And basically this is the predicted line. Emphasis on predicted. Okay. That line of best fit. So we refer to it as best fit also. It's a line that kind of has most of the data split, half of it above the line, half of it below the line. Alright. Wow, that's me. Okay, let's try that again. So here we have this uh, situation. Uh, basically, you know, it can, you know, so it gets shaken up a little bit and we open it up, it fizzes all over the place. So these two students decided, hey, everybody knows if you tap on the can, it kills the fuzz and see what happens. So they decided to do an experiment. They shook 40 cans of soda vigorously for 40, I'm sorry, 40 cans of soda and then they tried tapping zero seconds, in other words, no tapping. Four seconds of tapping the, the lid, eight seconds and 12 seconds. And they wanted to see what would happen. How much do they lose? And this is what they did, and there's a line of regression there, the best fit line, okay? So it says predict, and it says right here, here's your formula. Now notice, they didn't put y hat, they put soda hat. You can't do that. That is the y. Some people like to write out the word. And then instead of saying 2.63x, they put tapping time. You can do that. It's a lot more writing, but it is sometimes written out that way. But that is the y, that is the x. So it says, predict the amount of time remaining for a can that has been tapped 10 seconds. Well, first off, if you just take and go from 10 seconds straight up and then straight over, you know, you'll get an idea maybe of where you think it might be. Now that's a little bit high, you can tell from where I didn't hit the line. So you would estimate maybe around 275, 275 seconds. So, that is not how we do it. That just gives a ballpark figure. You could take a pencil and try to get an idea, but we have a more mathematical way of doing it. And what we're going to do is, since this is time, again, come on board. Since this is time, that's what we're doing there. If we plug 10 into our equation for time, that should give us a predicted amount. So we say y hat equals 248.6 plus 2.63 times 10. Obviously we just move the decimal over, 26.3 at 248.6, and we get y hat equals 274.9, and that's milliliters. Well, we were guessing around 275. Pretty good guess, because 274.9 is about as close as you can get to 275. Okay. Then it says, predict the amount of remaining for a can that has been tapped for 60 seconds. Okay, same thing. Y hat equals 248.6 plus 2.63, and now we plug in 60 for time. And then we just calculate it. Type in our calculator, 60 times 2.63 plus 248.6, 
And what you'll get is 404, no, my bad, 406.4 milliliters. Now, there's a couple problems with that. For one thing, there's probably not even 406 milliliters in a can of soda. Okay? The other thing is, think about how far. Look at this graph up here. It's going from 0 to 12 seconds. And think about how far out to the right 60 seconds would be in comparison to that. Okay? That's way far out. And that means it's going to be way high up there. So 406, again, it's too far away to be an accurate prediction. And secondly, there may not even be that much of a can. Okay? So you're not going to like suddenly have more appear than you started with. Okay? So it doesn't make sense. So when you ask how confident are you, you're going to say not very confident. It's too far out of our range to be an accurate prediction. Also, think about it. Like, think about when we grow. How much should we grow from being born to, like, two years old? There's a lot of growth and development there. You go from just being this mound of flesh just laying there in your, your parents' arms to walking, running, talking. And just those first couple years, there's this massive amount of growth. But then it kind of slows down, okay? And you don't grow that much through your grade school year, your high school year, it just kind of slows down. It kind of tapers off. So, in other words, you know, it might go up like this, but eventually it's going to taper out a little bit. So, same thing with this soda prediction. Eventually, it's going to taper off. We don't know where that's going to be, but it's not going to have that much of an effect. So, that's why it's too far out to make a good prediction. So, what is extrapolation? And is it good to extrapolate? So, go ahead and copy this down. I'll pause it. All right, so we're going to be asked to interpret the slope and the y-intercepts. Okay, so let's go back to writing. Okay, so with the slope and the y-intercept the regression line. First off, let's copy the information over from the previous page. So y hat equals 248.6 plus 2.63x. Now let's look at that. Our slope, m, equals 2.63 over 1. Okay? That's our slope. 2.63 over 1. Now think about it. 2.63 is soda in milliliters, and this is time in seconds. Now, you don't have to actually write this out like this, but it does help analyze and keep you on track for what we have to write. So, what we're going to write is for every additional second, or we just write every second, and this has to be approximately this. I tap on can. So for every second I tap on the can, it's predicted that 2.63 milliliters remain. So in other words, for every second I tap on it, I'm saving 2.63 milliliters. That's the prediction. Every second I tap, I'm not losing that much more soda. 2.63 milliliters is being saved. It's not exploding out of the top of the can. Now, it also says look at the y-intercept. Okay? Well, let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero 
comma 248.6. So what that's saying is, if I don't tap on the can, in other words, zero seconds, right? It is predicted two hundred forty-eight point six milliliters per minute. So if I don't tap on the can at all, that's how much should be in the, in the can. Okay, what is the residual and how do we interpret it? The residual is the observed minus the predicted. And we must also have the size and the direction of the error. In other words, is it positive or negative? Now, what does that mean? Well, if we have our line and we have dots here, the line of regression is these points. So all these below are negative and all these are positive. Everything above the line of regression is positive. Everything below the line is negative. These are all points. Okay, so this is a two-part problem here. It tells us it was tapped for four seconds and we had 260 milliliters. Well, to find the residual, that's the observed amount. Okay, we need the predicted amount for the same time or same number of taps, or, you know, four seconds of tapping it. So, this goes back to what we did at the beginning of the lesson. How do we find the predicted amount for y if we have our x? We plug it into the formula. So we go back to the original formula, y hat equals 248.6 plus 2.63 times 4. So we plug 4 in, yeah. So we're going to plug 4 in here for x, just like we did in the first few problems, and find out what y is. And that ends up being 259.12. So that's what goes here. Okay? So now we know our observed y, we know our predicted y, we're just wrapping it all together, and now to find the residual, We take our observed, 260, minus our predicted, 259.12, and we get 0.88, and that is positive. It's above line, because it's a positive number. Which means above the line. <laughs> We need to say that. We need to say where it is. Positive means above the line. Okay, one more example. Okay, so this one says, does adding sugar to water in plants make it last longer? Okay, so two students went and bought some carnations, and then they put in uh, tablespoons of sugar in three bases, two tablespoons in three bases, and three tablespoons in three bases to see what it did to the flower, if it made it last longer or not. So here's our formula. Y hat equals 180.8 plus 15.8 X, where X is the amount of sugar, and Y is the hours of freshness. Like how long after they put the flower in the vase did the uh, carnation last? So find the predicted value for two seconds, or two tablespoons. So all we're gonna do, 180.8 plus 15.8, and substitute in two. So we multiply by 2, add to 180.8, and we get y hat 
equals 212.4. In other words, two tablespoons of sugar predict 212 hours, 212 and a half hours almost of freshness in the carnation. Now, calculate and interpret the residual for two tablespoons that look fresh for 204 hours. Well, just like we already did, here's our observed. Okay? And what's our predicted? Well, we actually already did our predicted, so we're going to move this number right down here. That's our predicted. So we just calculate our predicted, we're just moving it down, saving a step. So what do we do? The residual is the observed minus the predicted, which means the residual is negative 8.4. Since it's negative, where is that? Below the line. Now this one, notice it's separated out. So interpret the slope. We're going to do it separately, more space to write. So again, we had 15.8 to 1. This was hours of freshness, and this was tablespoons of sugar. So in other words, and you don't have to write it exactly, you just have to get the general idea. For every tablespoon of sugar, you can put it in your own words, so for every tablespoon of sugar, it's predicted you get 15.8 hours more freshness. So for every tablespoon you add, you're going to get 15.8 hours of freshness. Theoretically. Now, again, just like we talked about before, if you add 60 tablespoons of sugar, eventually it's going to plateau to where there's a good effect on the sugar, and it might even have a detrimental effect. We don't know. Now, the y-intercept, what is it? Well, it's 0, 180.8. So, what does that mean? If no sugar is added, it's predicted flowers will last One hundred eighty point eight hours. 